Hey guys, Jamie Otis here with the Chef's Connection. I'm just hanging out at Monument Lane here in the West Village. Going to go chit chat with Executive Chef Steve Dustin, so come on in. So, we're finally sitting down with Executive Chef of Monument Lane, Steve Dustin, and he rode his bike in here today. So, I'm just curious, what is it like riding a motorcycle all the way throughout New York City? Slightly terrifying. Tell us a little bit about, you know, just the ambience here. Well, it was originally started uh, by Josh Frum. Um, he started the place two and a half years ago, and we found the spot here in the West Village, and we're basing everything on local and sustainable and organic products. And so everything from this tabletop is recycled wood to us going to the green market four times a week to get local produce and local, pro you know, meats and fish. So what what is one of your favorite dishes that you, you created here? Uh, well, one we just put on the menu a week and a half ago um, is a pork schnitzel. And so we're bringing in an eco-friendly um, pig. Uh, we break down the pigs here ourselves. And um, then we take the shoulder, we pound it out, bread it, and then fry it. And so you give us a nice little crispy disc of pork. Um, but it's coming with braised kale and a parsnip mashed puree and um, a little bit of golden raisins and some spice vinegar. That sounds phenomenal. Yes. That must be one of the healthiest dishes. That one is uh, on the other side of the spectrum in the health factor, but we do have some healthy fish dishes as well. How about vegetarian dishes for any anybody who's a vegetarian? Well, I do a lot of vegetarian stuff too. Um, when I was out in Colorado for about three years, I ran a vegetarian restaurant out there. Um, so my veggie cooking has really come up a lot, um, which has helped all of my cooking. Um, but we always run one vegetarian entree on our menu, and we change that up probably about every six weeks. Um, and get a new one on there and then we have lots of stuff in the appetizer department. So I'm originally from Michigan, uh, grew up in Michigan, South Haven, little beach town, uh, moved to Grand Rapids, um, fell into love with cooking in Grand Rapids um, and then talked to my chef there, he sent me to Atlanta and I worked in Atlanta for three years, talked to that chef, he sent me to New York, he was like if you're gonna cook you gotta come to New York City, you know, and so I've been here off and on for the past nine years. Um, I did have a little three year stint where I went to Colorado to get a breath of fresh air and get a little mountain, a little fly fishing, and that's when I ran um, a Latin American restaurant and a vegetarian restaurant for the same group. What does executive Steve Dustin do on his day off aside come back to work so he can talk to us? <laughs> right. Uh, Steve Dustin, he likes to do a little fishing. Uh, I like to do, well, I'll ride the motorcycle around. You know, I take on long trips, head up the Hudson Valley and check out a little farm area. Um, the other thing I got, I'm, I'm married. I have a wife who's a beautiful modern dancer, so I go to a lot of shows with her. And we have two children, which are both dogs. And uh, one's a very large 85 pound boxer and we have a little uh, pit bull rescue. And so lots of playing in the park with the, the puppies. I did not go to culinary school. And so I learned from my peers and from my, the chefs that I work for, you know. Wow, so you, so you didn't even go to culinary school and you happen to be an executive chef in one of the most highly, I don't know, highly talked about areas of New York City, the West Village. I mean, this is pretty phenomenal. Well, I would say this is my 20th year anniversary from starting as a dishwasher and just working my way up and learning and learning and so working was my school. So we have this whole pig in here. We've used the head. We've talked about the feet already. We've talked about using the tails to make terrines. We also make our own bacon here too. And so we take the big beautiful bellies and we cure them for 10 days um, with salt and sugar. So you're removing all the moisture in your curing process. Um, then we wash that off and hang them for 18 hours um, so they get sticky and then we smoke them downstairs in the kitchen. Uh, What's up with this? This is the bacon that we were talking about. So we had two two things going on with both of these. You got one right here, and this is all of our bacon that are our raw bellies, and it's in cure. Oh. And so this is all salt and sugar that removes all the moisture from your bacon to help preserve it. And then what is this, just a regular cloth? This that... is a cheesecloth. Uh, it just helps hold all the salt and sugar together, yeah. but it lets all the moisture drain out the bottom. So the moisture eventually will be ah. all in the bottom here. So it's kind of raised up, so, so then the so it's not sitting in its own juices. Oh. Um, and then this is after 10 days, we have it here. Um, so we let this hang for 18 hours and it gets sticky. And what that does for you is when you smoke it, all the smoke attaches to the bacon more. Um, so this, uh, they just pulled this out last, this morning. We're hanging it today. Tomorrow we'll smoke oh. it. That is so impressive. Thank you so much for showing us that. That is so neat. Thanks for having us. <laughs>